YouTube, how's it going? Fishing with Flair back with another vlog, and this time we're gonna catch some fish. So what I'm doing today is I am fishing with my friend Chris. He actually messaged me on Twitter about fishing together. He has access to this lake. It is an Air Force base lake. So like you have to be in the military and then you can bring one guest. So he brought me today. He says there's some giant fish in here. He's lost like eight plus pounders. And so it's cloudy, it's kind of rainy, it's cold, it's windy. So we'll see how it goes. Said the water's clear. I'm looking forward to that. A little bit of finesse fishing, maybe some shaky heads, some drop shots. It's gonna be a fun day. So do you just normally just kind of like walk the banks and stuff? I'm gonna start off with a green pumpkin, New Tech Crazy Jig. It's basically just like a chatterbait. It's cloudy, a lot of times fish are active, they're feeding, um, so I'm gonna start off with a moving bait. If I don't get bit with that, I'll probably get like a shaky head or something. I'm gonna go with a shaky head. I haven't really thrown a shaky head. I don't even think I've caught a shaky head fish yet this year, so I'm gonna stick to that bad boy for a little bit, just for fun. I like finesse fishing more of a challenge than uh, using 50 pound braid in a frog rod. There's one. First fish, that was my second cast on the shaky head. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, it's a good size largemouth. Yeah. Check that bad boy out. It's my first shaky head fish of the year. I never throw shaky heads. Look at that bad boy. Nice. 262, pretty dang close. Good fish right there. All right, I'm gonna try a jig. You ever catch them on jigs out here? All these rocks, there's gotta be some crawfish. Well, so far, no luck on the jig. I'm gonna take off my chatterbait and put on a white spinnerbait. It's cloudy, it's windy, and if I know anything about bass fishing, that usually means to pick up a spinnerbait. That's the spinnerbait I'm gonna go with, gold, Silver blades, half ounce white spinnerbait. Well, right now, they don't want the spinnerbait. Well, so far, I've only caught that one. Chris hasn't caught any. I think we're gonna move. We're gonna go to a different spot on this lake and just kind of keep doing the same thing. Some finesse stuff, some jigs, some spinnerbaits. See if we can get another fish. There's one. Oh, he came off. I had one. I had one right up against that tree. But he popped off. All right, let's try the jig in there. There's a big tree that lays down like right around there. And uh, that's where I just had that bite. So I'm, I'm thinking if I'm gonna hook into a big one, especially a big one, I'm gonna need some heavy fluorocarbon and a heavy rod to get it out. No finesse stuff. So we'll see if they bite the jig. Yeah, that spot, no good. All right, moving spots. Come on, we just need like one big in. What is it? I don't know, but it's food, it's huge. I think it's that. Is that that catfish? That was bad. Really? Yeah. There's a large mouth right in front of me. I'm gonna throw it right on. Got it. Yeah. Woo! it. <laughs> you totally called that fish, dude. <laughs> that was sick. Sight fishing. That was sick. Yeah, you're sight fishing for me, and I'm just casting in there. Woo. You little baby. Second fish on the shaky head. 
All right, little baby, I'll let you go. All right, we are gonna move back to where we started this morning. You have one? I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. We need a freaking toad. So we've been waiting for right here. Hey, yeah. Oh, oh, is it bass? It's a bass, isn't it? Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah, that's a big bass. All right, I'm gonna bring it to you. Let me grab him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. Got him. Oh, let's go. Woo! Check that oh, out, dude. Toad. Dude, that is. Woo! Dude, good work. That's a freaking pig. Put my line down. That's exactly what we needed. Check out that little piggy. We'll get a weight on that girl. Woo! On that Senko, shaky head Senko, is that what's going on there? Four. Four? Three, nine, two. Ah. Real Sonar Seal says three, nine, two. You, get, you have a scale? Yeah. All right, we'll see. I'm getting a second plate. Okay. Real Sonar says three, nine, two. He's going to grab another scale. That seems a little light. We're going to see what this girl weighs. Nine. Three, nine. So mine said three, nine, two. Yours says three, ninety. So it is. It just, it just looks giant, it's dude. It's huge. It looks fat, but it's just not, it's just good. don't weigh nothing. Yeah. Good work, dude. That's awesome. Nice. Beautiful fish. Four pounder. Woo. There you go. Woo. Nice. Good work, dude. Good work, man. That's awesome. There's one. Oh, God, that's a big one. Oh, God, it's a giant. Oh, gosh, it's huge. It's big. It's real big. Don't get me on that stick. Oh gosh, it's a big one. Oh, oh god. Woo! Yes. Oh, yes. Check that bad boy out. That's a probably three and a half. He was fighting real hard. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish right there. We're gonna get a quick weight on this girl and let her go. 2.71. I got one. Nice. So we got 2.71 on this guy on the shaky head Senko. Thanks to Chris for uh, showing me that technique and get a release. See you later, buddy. Well guys, it's uh, 1122. We caught four fish and three of them were good. One of them was a dink. Check out all those planes. That's the uh, that's the Air Force Base right there. All the planes lined up. Overall, it really wasn't a bad day. It, it started off super slow. I guess it started off good. I caught one fish and it went slow. It started to rain, so we took off. I'm going to go home. I am going to break down what we were doing today, though. We were doing something different, totally different than what I'm used to ever doing. So it may be different from what you guys are used to doing. So if you kind of want to know how we caught the fish today, it's definitely something I've never done before. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video when I do a recap. What's going on guys? You know I love teaching you guys how to fish. So at the end of all my fishing segments, at least most of them, I, I try to break down the rods and reels, the lures that I was using, my techniques, what was going through my head throughout the day of fishing. So we got out the water around like 8.15, fished until I think like 11.30 or so. Not a ton of time, the wind picked up, started raining, so we decided to head out. But we caught some fish. Chris caught a four pounder, which is awesome. Love seeing a big fish being caught. And I caught three fish, one dink and two okay fish. They were like three pounders. So I'm gonna go over the rod, the reel, the line, the lure, and just kind of explain what we are doing. It's a technique that I've never really done before. So hopefully if you guys are watching, maybe you haven't done it either, and you can take this out to your local lake and hopefully catch big fish like we did today. So the setup that I caught my last fish on, the most recent one that you saw, was on a bait casting setup. It was basically a big shaky head with a Senko. This is a Gary Yamamoto Senko Green Pumpkin Black Flake. That's probably like a 3 8 ounce shaky head. It's a, it's a pretty big shaky head, and that's literally it. It's I've thrown shaky heads before lots and lots of times, especially during tournaments. I throw shaky heads all the time, but I've never thrown a giant heavy one with a Senko on it. And for some reason, that, that's what the big fish wanted. That's what Chris caught his on. So I wanted to go over that as well. Chris caught his on that bait there too. And so then I picked it up, started throwing it, and I ended up catching a three pounder. For the setup, I have a Castaway Mag Medium Heavy Rod. 
just your standard, you know, Texas rig rod with, with 17 pound Seaguar and Vizex fluorocarbon. The reel was a Cast King stealth reel. Now this is a reel that I've never used before. This is the first day that I've ever picked it up. And I'm trying to expand my arsenal as far as rods and reels go. I'm, I'm trying not to use the exact same thing every single video because, because the more I limit myself as far as dip variety of rods and reels I use, the more I limit you guys in learning what's all out there for you guys to use. So. This is actually a very low-end reel, in my opinion. I mean, there's lower than this, but I think this dude runs about 60 bucks. It's not expensive reel. I keep getting comments, you know, what's the best reel for 50 bucks or 75 or 100? Well, the thing is, all the reels that I use are about 130 or more. So I decided to mix it up, try out a lower-end reel. I've heard a lot of good things about this reel, and just see if I like it. And to be honest with you, for 60 bucks, I would throw this thing all day long. It's a great reel. Din backlash, casted far in that wind. You guys saw me casting in that wind. It worked just great. It's 7.0 to 1 gear ratio, so it's just a fast paced reel. Nothing too crazy to it, but I'll drop a link down below. If you guys want to purchase any of this equipment that I'm about to go over or that I have gone over, check the link down below. But I'll be straight up honest with you guys. For 60 bucks, I have not picked up a better reel. That was my bait casting setup. We were throwing it literally as far as we possibly could into that wind and just bringing it back to the bank. Just kind of dead sticking it, dragging it, almost like a football head jig. There's just rocks scattered everywhere in the bass were cruising, look for crawfish, bait fish, that type of stuff. The setup that I started with and that I caught my first two fish on, I believe, the one I caught on my second cast actually, it was a shaky head as well, but this one's a little different. This one is more finesse. This guy right here, this is a six or seven inch zoom trick worm. I think it's like a pumpkin color or a green, kind of like green pumpkin color, like a brown. It's just a straight tail worm with, I believe, like a quarter ounce or like a three sixteenths ounce. Um, just kind of like a small little, just shaky head. I think this is like an owner shaky head. I'm not sure what the other brand was, but it's just real finesse. The line that I had was eight pound Seaguar Tatsu fluorocarbon, and that was the leader. I had about a seven or eight foot leader tied directly to 15 pound Seaguar Smackdown braid. So you use a braid for the main line and then a fluorocarbon leader. The, the water we were fishing was just gin clear. Mo the clearest water that I've fished since probably Canada. So I wanted to make sure I had that leader on there so they wouldn't see it. So eight pound test leader to 15 pound braid. The rod I was using was a Castaway Invicta drop shot rod. It's a seven foot rod. It's just kind of a finesse fishing rod. It's made for drop shots, which this is, no, this is not a drop shot, but it's, it's a very similar technique. Light wire hooks, real finesse. Um, very sensitive rod at that. And the reel is just any reel, any any spinning reels. I'm not really specific on the brands for spinning because bait casters, you want to have a high quality reel because you're going to get a backlash. You can't get a backlash with a spinning reel. So like, I don't believe in buying high quality spinning reels unless you really need that good drag system if you're fighting like smallmouth or striped bass or stuff like that. Again, just fishing in the wind. It was cloudy. It was rainy. We we're just fishing against rocks. It really wasn't anything special. I did try reaction baits. I tried square bills. I tried spinner baits. Uh, I tried jigs, they would not eat anything but a soft plastic worm, whether that was a big Senko or a small finesse trick worm. I really thank you guys for watching. I know it really wasn't the greatest video. I mean, we caught some fish, four fish. I'd like to catch a lot more, but I'm just trying to get out as often as possible. I've got a lot, a, a lot of work to do this afternoon. I got college starting up in two days, so I know that's going to really put a lot of stress in my life as far as trying to get videos done still. So I'm trying to fish as often as possible, pump out videos. So please leave that thumbs up, guys. Drop a comment what you want to see. If you want to see this type of video, you want to see something different. If you want to see some duck hunting, duck hunting season opened yesterday. You want to see that? I, I know a lot of guys that do hunting, and I, I made some videos last year, and you guys did enjoy that. So if you want to see some duck hunting, some goose hunting, some dove hunting, let me know. If you want me to stick to fishing, ice fishing, just drop a comment down below. That way I know exactly what you guys want to see. If you guys want to learn more tips, I just started a Patreon account where I put a lot of exclusive stuff, exclusive videos that don't go up on YouTube, lists of baits to use for like the month of September, um, the colors to use if it's sunny, cloudy, muddy, windy, rainy, all that stuff. So check the link down below, go to my Patreon account. If you're interested and you want to learn more about bass fishing, go check that out. Other than that, I really do appreciate you guys watching. Can't thank you guys enough for the support. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.